Backstage, Barbara Fuser-Poli with her partner, Maritza Mongalio. They're the current leaders. It's been a steady climb for them to their place as the reigning world silver medalist, but they are not satisfied. They're back and they're stronger than ever. They may not be recognized on the streets of their hometown of Milan, but Barbara Fuser-Poli and Maurizio Margaglio are determined to put Italy on the map in figure skating. Last year, they finally made their mark in ice dance, earning the top spot on the podium at Skate America. That victory gave us a lot of confidence on ourselves. The new season has brought new change. Barbara was married over the summer to her longtime love, Diego Catani. They were outside the church with a 6-0, and it was fun. They also adopted a new training method by using masks to simulate the high altitude in Colorado Springs. It's hard, but it's, I think it's the good way for, for to be ready. Armed with a powerful new free dance, Barbara and Maurizio aim for gold once again. Would you please welcome now, representing Italy, Barbara Pusarpoli and Maurizio Gamagaglio. Well, they are well on their way to defending their Skate America crown, and it was the win here last year that started the season off so well, and it was really a surprise season. The first ever medal for an Italian ice dance team at the World Championships. It was a silver medal. They want number one this year. Barbara Fuserpoli and Maurizio Margaglio. Their music is from the motion picture Romeo and Juliet. up the ladder in the world of ice dance, but they passed a few teams that really wasn't expected at the time. Born in Kratz, who will skate in just a moment, the four-time bronze medalist. They defeated them in every phase of the competition at the Cup of Russia last year, and afterwards, Victor Kratz said, the Italians, that's a team with no potential. There's no luck loss between these two teams. Well, Victor and Shaylin are very natural skaters. Barbara and Mauricio are very hard-working, and they make up for any lack of natural ability. Now this is when they take a little bit of liberty with the whole Romeo and Juliet theme. This is a motorcycle crash and now they are angels in heaven. This is the 96 movie version, remember. I wonder what Shakespeare would think of this. Spin, one of the required spins. When I spoke to Maurizio earlier. He said they're about two weeks behind in their training because of Barbara's wedding and taking some time off, a, off of a very rigorous schedule last year, but very determined to get back on their training schedule later on. Intertwine, low hydroblading move and lift. You can see they're slowing down a little bit, Terry. The altitude has really affected all of the teams during practice. This is the first time we're seeing this in its entirety all week. Even though Barbara and Mauricio have spent about 10 days in Colorado Springs training, and you saw a moment ago wearing those masks to simulate the high altitude. But it certainly has affected a number of skaters 
throughout the practices and early rounds of competition. This program might be harder for them than last year's program. Last year, they didn't seem to have a problem with the altitude. successful as last year's program. It's going to take a little bit more work to get them together. I do respect the fact that they're trying to reach out on a limb, but it, it just doesn't work for me right now. Two wins last season in the Grand Prix Series. They made it to the Grand Prix Final where they finished second. <laughs> and you can see <laughs> oh they are out of breath right now. Barbara Fusser-Poli and Maurizio Margaglio of Italy. They started off very strong in the opening of their program, opening up with a nice rotational lift. She in a very nice split position. They covered the ice well, and they worked very well together as a team. But toward the end of the program, they started to struggle with fatigue. You can just see in their upper bodies are getting a little hunchy. It's hard to, to really appreciate their body movement there. Again, not over the skate. So easy to falter when you're tired like that. Now they came into the free dance with a comfortable lead in first place after the original dance. We'll see what the judges think here. The first set for technical merit, Susie. These are some nice marks. I think that they're not good when they're comfortable. They don't fight as hard. Now for presentation, 5.7 up to 5.9. In fact, two 5.9s. From Italy and Lithuania. Interesting. So still in first place, Fusipoli and Margaglio. 